everyone welcome back to the channel so here we are discussing the question can i square on code forces round 918 diff 4 so the problem states that kalen has n buckets the ith of which contains ai wooden squares of side length 1 can kalen build a square using all the given squares so here is the input of t the number of test cases and n the number of buckets and the next line contains n integers a1 to a n the number of squares in each bucket it is noted that the sum of n overall test cases do not exceed 2 into 10 to the power 5 so we need to output yes if kellen can build a square using all of the given 1 cross 1 squares and no otherwise you can output the answer in any case and it will be considered as a positive answer so let's see the test cases first we have 9 here so we check that we can build a 3 cross 3 square we have 14 and 2 so we can build a 4 cross 4 square and if we check all these after checking all these we get to know we can't build a square from all the given squares so it is simply no and if these all squares are mixed up then yes we can make a square and if these are the squares then we can't make a square so now let's recognize it i have taken one example of the last test case uh, as it is the smallest one so we have here two squares of one one unit then two squares then two squares then two squares so in one bucket we have two squares so i have placed those two squares here suppose after that from the next bucket i place two squares here from another bucket i place two squares here and another bucket i place two squares here so as you can see this is not making a square instead it makes a rectangle now let's try something else if i remove these two from here and I place here then also it is not possible so what you need for a square is this one more section which is not available to us because in total how many squares we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 2 into 4 8 squares and if you make a single square out of some units suppose I am making it from 3 so it should have similar rows and similar columns in simple words the number which we are getting from adding all these should be a perfect square for example here 8 if i take square root of 8 it will not be a integer which means this is not a perfect square as we know it is not a perfect square so this is not possible now if you take this example 1 3 5 7 9 11 it add up to 36 36 is a perfect square 6 into 6 so we can make 6 cross 6 square and hence its answer is yes like this if you check for this one so 1 2 7 if you add 1 2 7 it would be 28 and you know 28 is not a perfect square number hence we will output no in this case so just adding the numbers and then checking whether it is a square number or not if it is a perfect square then we output yes else we output no so now let's check the code for this so the code in python is as follows we first check the sum of the numbers squares is the list which we are having of the numbers then we take the sum of the numbers and then we take the integer value of the square root of that number 
if our integer value multiplied by another integer value gives us the same output which means suppose i have the number 9 so my square root is 3 and 3 multiplied by 3 gives me 9 then i return yes now in another case if i take 8 so square root of 8 is 2 root 2 which comes out to be around 2.82 and its integer value is 2 so 2 into 2 would give us 4 which is not equal to 8 hence we output no in that case so this is the overall solution to the problem i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching